Hi guys, good morning. It is morning here. And um, this is a video after the results. After what? Well, I'm playing around as an end user. I say, wouldn't it be nice if I would install Endeavor OS Mercury Neo 2025-0319. Done that. In the end result is that you get a plasma system on Arch with Trakut, right? not system D and um, you have here so I changed a few things system settings move this guy over here so I have this button that I can click change a few of these settings so in here you have global theme and here as well some other options colors and themes colors changed oh yeah change this thing a little bit change the color chose a color a blue color rather than the purple one you can choose any color you like like this one okay it's gonna be this color and never was very much for brown but um, I think it what used to be something like this and then there's a night light yes we apply this thing and then apply application style quantum dark I chose plasma style arc dark window decorations arc dark red button up here and icons we have created specifically plasma icons surf and plasma surf and plasma surf and plasma right really tuned for the plasma system and then cursors if you go dark you go white in the cursor which could be this one that one right or that one system sounds don't care splash screen don't want it and light login screen i went back to eos breeze but we have our Arclex Simplicity theme there as well. And of course, um, how do we get here? Normal installation, right? Just install Endeavor OS, then git clone. Git clone what? Arclex Nemesis scripts. So this is what we run after any installation of Arch-based systems, but also others. You can check out what it is of what I do with that uh, script or these scripts with the readme. So Ubuntu is in there, uh, Solos is in there. Doesn't really matter what Linux system is in there. We'll just change it the way we like it. So we're gonna remove things, add things, and this is the end result. So I'll only run this one and everything goes automatically. So that's one thing, but you know me, right? Uh, I'll log out and when I log out I probably log back in into what desktop you think many of you know already of course so yeah, down here I choose plasma x11 I need to say something about um, virtual box and plasma and Wayland but yeah I'll log into chat WM and we are again in control of our system and as a backend, rather than having XFCE as a backend, we have now Plasma as a backend. It's just a choice, right? Um, it is sluggish VirtualBox today, so never mind that. Just try it out on Real Metal, and then update the system. I am now currently having these repos. I have um, Neo. That's something new. I can type Neo. I can type FF. Both of them will reveal on what system I am. But mainly, I don't care on what system I am. I'm in control. All the packages are there what I want. There are the packages I don't want have been removed. I mean, right? Super X is nicely there to log me out. And that one will be maintained. That's the Arch Linux logout. And then a technical bit for Plasma Virtual Machine. Let's stop this guy. Power off. We have settings to change in the display. I've enabled 3D acceleration, otherwise the screen stayed black, right? So VM SVGA enable 3D acceleration, something similar, I suppose, on VMware or QMU or the others. So there you go. We have Endeavor OS, a simple installation, right? Just the latest Endeavor OS Mercury Neo you, you install it the way you like it. I did an offline installation, I think, and then updated, got the Git clone and 
make sure that I got the code for Articlex Nemesis and run it. Done. Have fun creating something similar because creating scripts are basically it's an employee, it's, it's, it's a guy that works for you, right? Run the scripts and it does its job till the very bitter end. All right, enjoy Endeavor OS.